Hey guys, welcome back to Notes From Home. We want to thank you all for all your love and sweet comments on this exterior reveal. We had a blast working on it. Now, as you can see, there is a little something different about me. From previous episodes, you'll notice that I got a new hat, okay? I was sporting the uh, that uh, Patagonia dirty hat, and we thought I ought to step up my game, so I went with this nice Adidas red hat. Also, I have got an eye patch, as you can see. I have got some ridiculous uh, double vision and some other complications, so I'm wearing an eye patch for the foreseeable future. Surgery's coming, but uh, I can appreciate any funny comments you want to leave because I'm a big boy and I can handle it. Yes, yeah, so Cy's going to be sporting this eye patch for a while, but that's okay. He's not going to let it slow him down, and we're going to start doing some projects inside the house now. Um, so we're going to take you inside and show you the first one we're going to work on. you guys so a lot of you all are waiting for us to start our kitchen makeover and believe me we want to do it too but we're not ready for it yet and there's some possible um, sponsorships that we could do with our kitchen so we're waiting to hear for those so in the meantime we're doing the next project that we really wanted to get finished and that is to build a knee wall between the sunken den and the kitchen area so one of the things that we had to decide was whether we wanted to go halfway up with the knee wall or all the way up and to enclose the whole space. So I am a visual person and so whenever I'm working on a project in my house, I try to replicate it as much as I can without actually doing the project. So in this instance, I asked Cy to build me, put a two by four all the way across where we thought the knee wall would go. And then I wanted to just drape it in sheets. So that way I could kind of visualize the height, whether I liked the height and what it would look like to have a wall there. We also grabbed the railing that was already in the sunken den when we bought the house. It was white and had some scrolly things in it. We took the scrolly parts out, we painted it black just to help me visualize what it would look like if we had black railing um, on by the steps of our sunken den. So once we had the, the sheet over the two by four and we had the railing up, it really helped me visualize what the space would look like and I decided that that was a good height and now we were able to go ahead and start building the knee wall. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I need to pop this bullnose trim off and um, that's very nice stuff. It's expensive when we had this floor put down. So I'm gonna try to pop this off and save it so we can reuse that somewhere else. Um, but then I will get a uh, bottom plate on. I mean, sometimes you can you know, pre-build these and put it up, but I think I'm going to leave this one up top, do bottom plate and then just studs um, 16 inch on center. And I'm probably gonna get a couple of receptacles on this other side because it is a long wall and that may be something we need down the road. But let me go ahead and get started popping this off. pants on so I was doing a little work here um, so I just wanted to let you know a little bit of what we are trying to do because this is completely trial and error and we don't know if it's gonna work but on this knee wall since it looks into the den toward the TV we thought it might would be a good idea to put a little shelf here where we could put some stools and some people could eat there and watch TV um, but I don't want there to be a permanent shelf there and so we thought about a fold-down shelf 
but I don't want a fold down shelf that you can tell it's a fold down shelf. So we are trying to disguise a shelf and we are going to wood plank this wall and size si trying to come up with a little contraption. I found I found these guys on Amazon and they are these uh, brackets that when lifted like so, hold on, they go like this. So we're trying to hide these brackets in here so that we can, the wood planked wall can flip up and make a little shelf. Again, this is trial and error. We don't know if this is gonna work, but we're hoping it does. Stay tuned. behind my drywall that's why I had to take this drywall back off because I needed something for my brackets where are my brackets behind here's a bracket I needed something for this to go on because it's gonna have some weight on it and so I want this to be screwed into that two to six behind versus using drywall anchors or something those would absolutely not work and we want them spaced out exactly right and my studs behind this drywall wasn't, um, you know, they weren't spaced out how I needed them. Yeah, 